Over the next 7 days I'll be playing FC25 on a brand new account and without spending any money, my goal will be to reach the highest division possible and also get as many wins as possible in the weekend league. So I began by choosing the English starter pack and Wilson was our first ever player to get into a club. So this is our awful starter team, but at least I could already give it an upgrade with one of those lone players. I decided to go with Leroy Sane, as he has good pace and nice dribbling. Then I selected the kids and the badge, Sane was heavy without choice and I jumped straight into moments. I did this football 101 moment at the start and you're gonna see why in just a second. It was the easiest challenge ever, I completed it and we got one moment star as a reward. And we did all this to get this welcome pack for just one star. This pack could actually be decent and we got 83 more Reno out of it along with two more gold cards. So we're still sitting at zero coins our team is awful, we have no starter packs and the only way to get some packs or coins in the beginning is to play squad battles. I didn't go too difficult, I choose the professional difficulty, don't forget half of our team are still bronze cards. So here we are in our first game, a Tete with a chance now to get into the box, passes it to Wilson and this is our first goal ever on this account, nice. And it's Ndongamba now with some space. Lays it off to Etete and he scores, making it 2-0. All right, my defense needs a little work, I guess. And we concede the first goal. Yeah, 88th minute. We should still get this win, I hope. Okay, last attack. Beautiful move by Etete. And he seals the game with the third goal. Beautiful. And I kept playing squad battles. I won five out of the next six games. Collected good points. All of that on professional difficulty. And the good thing is, there's a new season that had started. So I also completed lots of objectives automatically. So I found this FC coaching masterclass in objectives that gave us two full squads of Man City and Liverpool lone players which will be very useful in the future, so stay tuned. We also unlocked some small packs, some random players like this Jiku, and everything might seem like it's not that big of a deal, but we literally have bronze cards in our team, so every gold player helps us for now. Every coin is useful at this stage, I take this 83 de Vrij like it's a Van Dyke. So I built in Jiku, of course he has no chemistry, but we have to deal with that later. And this is my new team for now, at least no more bronze cards in the starting 11. And we also have Wilson alongside Moreno now in the attack. So I went back to squad battles, won the rest of the games, still on professional difficulty, but at least the team played much better now without all the bronzes. So it's day 2 now, which means it's Sunday, which means it's squad battles rewards day. And we managed to get into goal 2, 7k guaranteed and these two packs will determine the future of this challenge. And it's no walkout in the first pack, sent to mid Spain, alright 84 Garcia. He has a good playstyle, let's see if we can build him into the team. Another mega pack, come on. Oh, it's a walkout. Left mid, USA. Okay, it's gonna be a woman, I guess. Oh, and this is... Oh, a nice double walkout. 86 Schiller. Decent stats and she comes out with Swanson. Nice. Nice double walkout and we also have a team of the week. And everything is tradable. Good stuff. So this pack made us around 35k, which is very good at this early stage. And it was time now to dedicate ourselves to the first challenge. Get into the highest division possible with this team. This is a division 5 team, I was expecting silver cards here. Now to be fair, the new season just started and everyone got demoted at least two leagues. So we're basically playing a division A player right now. And as you might have seen already, I started the division rivals grind with the lone team we got from those objectives. But we're only going to do this for like 5-6 more games until our team gets a little more competitive. So this is Jota going into the box and nice shot and beautiful goal. Our first one in division rivals. McAllister, good pass to Midema in the box and it's 2-0. Great stuff. Oh, mistake with the opponent, Jota with interception. Into the box he goes, and that's 3-0. Our first division rivals victory is sealed, but after some more wins, I went back to moments and tried to get some more of those milestones done. Moments Mastery is the section in objectives, and it gives us a total of six packs, and out of those six, we already unlocked five. So let's see what we can get out of them. And the best player we pulled out of those was Danilo, so unfortunately, nothing special. And in the meantime, I sold pretty much everything that was tradable, which brought us a grand total of 58k. So I kept doing some more moments until I gathered a total of 60 stars. And I did that because there is a 50k pack in the moment store for exactly 60 stars. 
So what's in here? Left back Scotland. Okay, this only can be Robertson. 85 rated. Yeah, not too bad. But for now, not amazing pack luck for us. He's tradable though, and we also have some 84s. So it was time now to grind some SPCs, of course. We had to start with the Foundations SPCs. But we all know now that in the beginning, there are three SPCs that could be very good. And one of those is the Hybrid Leagues SPCs. So I spent some of my coins to complete it. Now, what is in those packs? Let's see. French center back. Okay, it's Pavard. He's not bad. Okay, some more gold cards. I'll take it. Oh yeah, I also made some progress in the season pass. But early in the season, everything moves very slow. And those first packs are pretty trash. So it didn't really help all that much. Maybe next time I should do this challenge at the end of the season. Let's see. Okay, next pack. No walkout. Left wing. Oh, that's Quaratskelia. 5 star, 5 star. And at least an 85. And lots of Serie A we're packing. Maybe I should go for a Serie A team now. Let's see. All right. Next big SPC done. The League and Nation Hybrid. For a rare mega pack and some more minor packs. And this is a walkout. Finally. CDM Spain. Oh, Liga F. That is Guijaro. Very good card. Our best so far, and I also had her in my main team. She plays very well, around 70k. Next walkout, center back from Brazil. Another double walkout together with Ta. And yeah, it's Marquinhos, of course. Two center backs, but no idea how we can fit any of them into the team so far. Let's see. Oh, and an informed Shakiri. I'll take that. Okay, now the big pack, and we got scammed, of course. Moreno again. That's crazy. Such a good pack. Tons of players, but none of them useful. What a shame. And Hybrid Nations is the last SPC, but it looks like our pack luck for now will not come back. Some solid cards, but nothing worth more than 10k. A little devastating, not gonna lie. Alright, all those SPCs drained our coins balance down to 29k. Was all of this worth it? Yeah. I think it was, but let's see what team we can build now with all those cards we packed. So my main target was to build as many useful, untradeable cards into the team as possible. Guijaro needs to be in here, and of course lots of Serie A with Baratskelia and Pavard. So in the end, our first useful team looks like this. So off we go, right into Division Rivals with our new team. And I managed to get into Division 9 with the lone team, but now let's see how high we can get with the new team. Oh, and our opponent with a big chance, and Kane scores the first goal against our new team. Not a great start. And this is Foden. Is he gonna pass? No way, this goes right in. We're not playing too well with our new team so far. Okay, Abeyera gets the ball now. Nice moves into the box, and finally, in the second half, our first goal with the new team. Oh no, Kane again, and he somehow gets through and scores it. What's happening here? We're down two goals again. Okay, Darmian now into the box to Zapata. Yeah, we cut the deficit. Good stuff. Zapata gets it again. No, Vlahovic with a little luck, but what a shot. And that's the equalizer, nice. I'll take it. Okay, there's still some time for winning goal. Oh, what is he doing with the goalkeeper? No way. I have never seen a goal like that, but I'll take that as well. That's the lead and the victory in the end for us. Nice stuff. First win with a new team. So we kept winning games with the new team. Once I got used to it, it played pretty okay. And I grinded through the divisions up to Division 7. And here I managed to unlock this Tavares left back. Seria, so he fits into the team perfectly. And I also brought Payor because our strikers were a little bit slow. And in Division 7, it started to get a little difficult. I started losing some games, but I was very close to completing a very important objective, so I jumped back to squad battles. Now, can you guess which objectives I'm grinding for? Little hint, my next three games all look like this. And of course you're right, it's the finishing mastery. Scored 250 goals for a jumbo rare players pack and I think it's time for us to finally get something that is more than 20k. And it is a walkout, center back. No, we got scammed again. 
it's Ty again, and the rest is trash, so this wasn't really worth it. But we have to upgrade the team somehow, so I decided to just buy Lewandowski with the last coins we had. And now I hope we have two strikers that can take us up to high divisions. Let's see. And that's exactly what happened. Division 6 and players qualification. Great stuff. We're making progress here. So I kept grinding and the games kept getting more and more difficult. But here we are now. Promotion game for Division 5. Let's see what happens. Okay, Pavard is a little slow against Martinez. Yeah. First goal for the opponent again. That's very bad for our promotion hopes. And we kick off the ball. Let's try to use the kickoff glitch. Lewandowski gets the ball. And beautiful Trivella shot. That's the equalizer right away. Sorry, opponent. Don't hate the player, hate the game. No, what am I doing? That was a very bad pass. Lays it off to Martinez again. And that's the lead for the opponent again. Not good. Okay, purely sick now to Lewandowski. Can he keep the ball in the box? Shoots. And the equalizer again. Come on. That's what we need. Kvaratskelia to Payor in the box. Oh, what a turn and beautiful shot. That's a lead for us. And Lewandowski now. Beautiful pass to Payor. And this has to be another goal for the win. Yes, 4-2-2. I think that's it. Oh, and Pulisic now to Lewandowski again. Yeah, it's very clear in the end. Five goals take us to Division 5. Amazing stuff. And don't forget, guys, start of the season, we're probably playing against Division 3 players in Division 5, so keep that in mind. And I'm mentioning that because Division 5 was really tough. I got to the last checkpoint pretty quick, but the last couple of games I kept losing and losing. Now, we're very close to Division 4. Let's see if we can make it, though. Oh, what a pass to Hoylund, and he shoots right away. What a goal. Wanna know for the opponent. No, what's happening here? Get the ball away. And Rafinha scores the second. Oh, no. And Rutter to Hoyland again. What? Yeah, I don't know what to say. This stuff keeps happening all the time. 3-0 in 13 minutes. That is crazy. Okay, Danilo now to Guendouzi. Nice moves in the box. Yeah, finally. Our first goal, 3-1. Still lots of time left, but lots of work to do here. No, Rafinha to Hoyland again. Goes to the box. No way. Guys, this is ridiculous. This Hoyland Evo is just crazy. Four goals in 30 minutes. We're done. I kept going until halftime, but then I had to resign. It was 3 o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday. I really wanted to get into Division 4 for the Division Rivals rewards, but it wasn't possible. So yeah, day 6, Thursday, Division 5, Rivals Rewards. Hopefully we can get some mercy from EA. A little pack luck would help us and would come our way. 25k of course, really massive boost for us, but we really deserve that. It was a big grind to get that. The packs are letting us down once again. No walkout in the first pack, no walkout in the second pack. And an 85 in the third pack, at least Joe Gomez, but even he is worthless in November. It's crazy because our team is so bad, but still we don't get anything good enough to improve it. Okay, rare mega pack to finish the rewards. Finally a walkout. Please don't be Tigan. CDM Spain, Premier League. And this is Rodri91 rated. Finally something useful. He's worth 40k, of course. He's kind of SBC fodder, untradeable, but he plays really well. A bit slow, but doesn't matter. We have to build him into the team somehow. But before we proceed, it was time for some more squad battles on beginners difficulty because I was very close to the 400 assists milestone mastery. So let's get this first before we start building our final weekend league team. Okay, Jamoria players pack. It is a walkout at least. Right back from Canada. It looks like a woman. Yeah, women's league, but who is that? Okay, an info walkout. 86 Lawrence. Great stats. Maybe we should give it a try. She's like 20k at the moment. Let's see. And another info behind that. Alrighty. Oh yeah, and there's also one more section in the moments mastery that I hadn't complete yet because I couldn't afford an 88 rated team. But now we have so many cards and also enough coins to finally finish this and get our last big pack from the objectives. 
Jota scores the goal. Of course, I had to use all my loans for this. And here it is, our last Jumbo Rare Players Pack for this video. This could determine how our weekend league is gonna go. Walk out, very important. No, goalkeeper. Okay, it's Premier League. Please be Edison, at least, so we can link you with Rodri. Yeah, okay, Edison, it's not that bad. We need a goalie anyway, and he also links. That's actually amazing. And an 88 Renault as well. SPC forward is always good. Okay, and that's the team we're gonna go to try to qualify for the weekend league. I bought Kerr and James to link them with Lawrence. Unfortunately, Nuno is on the team anymore. I had to get rid of all the Serie A players, actually. Okay, it's time for our first ever FUD Champions game. We need three wins out of five games to qualify for the finals. Let's go. And Tell gets the ball. All right, we concede first. Not that good, but we're gonna see how we deal with that. And Rodri now to Guijaro, to Sancho with the Elbon dribbling. Nice equalizer. Let's go. That's what we need. Let's tell again with step overs into the box. No, Ake is too late here. That's a penalty. And 2 to 1, of course, trailing again. And let's tell again on the counter. Red time finish and it still goes in. That's crazy. 3 and 1 for the opponent. And yeah, long story short, guys, I only managed to win one single game in the playoffs. I didn't make it through, unfortunately. And I honestly didn't really like the team. I sold Kerr and James again. I rebuilt the team so Tavares could play again. Let's see if this was a good choice. This is the new team, this time with Griezmann and Rafinha. Also Tavares is back and the center backs are Araujo and Diaz. And we had to get back to division rivals to gather enough points to try another qualification. And the time of our challenge was already running up, so I really need some quick solid games now. Francescoli with a dangerous shot now and Ederson saves it. Good job. And Griezmann gets the ball in the box. Can he score? Yes, he can. This is the lead before halftime. Let's go. And the opponent now with a dangerous pass. Ederson cannot save it. That's the equalizer. No, that's not good. Your end on the wing to Rafinha. To Lewandowski. 2-1 and one the score. Back in the lead. And Guijaro gets it. Easy pass to Lewandowski. And that's the game. 3-1. to one. Let's keep going like this. Oh, we're not done yet. Another counter. Griezmann this time to Lewandowski. Can he get this hat-trick? Yeah. 4-1. and one. Beautiful stuff. And we finally got into Division 4. Now, we still have to win another 5 games to get the points for the playoffs, though. And I also started an evolution here with Zakanyi. Uh, really the weak point of our team, but we need him for chemistry. So, Nuno Tavares is way too important for the team. Alright, guys. Long story short, I got the points in Division Rivals. And we are now 2-2 in the playoffs. So, it's a do-or-die game for us. We need to win this now. Last chance. Rafinha to Griezmann with the finesse and what a goal. Finesse is such a weapon this year. Beautiful stuff. And Rodri intercepts the ball. Watch out for the offside. And now he lays it off to Lewandowski. Easy goal. 2-0. Guijaro now to Lewandowski in the box. Turns, shoots and scores. Easy. Third goal of the game. Oh, dangerous play from our defenders. What is happening here? No, that's the first goal of our opponent. We need to be a little bit more careful here. And Tavares now with the cross to Griezmann. Beautiful. And that's goal number four. 72nd minute. Yeah, this should be the win. And yeah, it was the win in the end. We qualified for the weekend league, guys. So let's see how many wins we can get here. And it was Friday now. Day seven. The last day of our challenge. And EA decided to do something crazy. And they gave everyone those crazy Ballon d'Or lone players. I chose Mbappe and Bomati, but honestly, I really hated that because the point of my challenge was to play the weekend league with a team I built up within seven days, but my team was so bad and I knew everyone is gonna use those monster cards, so I decided to use them as well because our disadvantage of the team was already big enough in the weekend league. I have to defend for 15 games now, with a 50 pace Ruben Diaz against a 99 pace Mbappe with the rocket playstyle. So honestly, I think our disadvantage is still very big, even if I use these OP cards myself. 
So let's see how the weekend league will go. All right, I'm gonna do some live commentary here in the weekend league gameplay. And the start of the weekend league was horrible. You can see the first opponent completely destroyed me. I think my mistake was I was trying to rely on those stupid Ballon d'Or cards way too much. I always tried to pass to Mbappe, always tried to pass to Bonmati, and it still wasn't good. It took me one and a half games until I realized I just have to play normally. And this is exactly what happened. Look, this is game two. We're down 2-0 and, oh, and something clicked. And I just took finesse shots with Griezmann, how I was doing all day long on Division Rivals. First finesse here, second finesse here. We're back in the game and Griezmann again. Boom. Hattrick Griezmann. Who needs this 95 Mbappe? I don't. So we started our weekend league one and one. Honestly, I didn't expect this good of a start because on the third game, I still kept scoring goals left and right, mostly with Griezmann. But a strong part of our game was the wings, especially Rafinha on the right side was very strong. Good cheap card, good pace and just go to the corner flag, turn around, go into the middle shoot finesses with Griezmann, this was my way to go. And I was 4-4 four and four very, very quickly. My goal was 5 wins, so let's see if we can get this win. Griezmann scores on us the first goal, but a couple of minutes later, actually minute 4, we <laughs> equalized with this ridiculous finesse from Griezmann. Honestly, Griezmann scored more goals than this 95 Mbappe here. Next goal from Griezmann, an opponent rage quits. And this is our fifth win. And this was my target for the seven day challenge. So every game from now on was just a bonus. I didn't really care too much. I didn't sweat too much. I just had fun for the rest of the games of the weekend league. The weekend league was very, very sweaty, especially with those uh, 95 rated cards, look, 95 Smith scores on us, ridiculous goal, but I scored back with finesses from Griezmann, I love Griezmann, I love those finesse goals, and we also went into penalty shootouts with some games, some games were very, very close, I think we had the chance to get 9 or 8 wins in the end, it wasn't, it wasn't enough for 8 wins, I think I lost my last game, on this penalty shootout, which could have been win number eight, but it was seven wins in the end. But I'm very, very happy with those seven wins with this team. And now let's open the rewards. We were very unlucky with the packs for the whole challenge. Let's see if we can at least improve our team one last time before the challenge ends. We get the Bal 97 out of the guaranteed uh, walkout pack. We have another walkout in this pack. It's a goalkeeper, German, La Liga, and who is that? Barcelona. Oh, yeah, that is Ter Stegen. Good stuff. 89. He probably can fit my team. Let's see if we will choose, uh, if we will change him with Ederson. Some informs. The rest was really trash. So, in the end, we had our team and around 50k. So, I decided to upgrade the team with Kunde in the back so this is the final team guys worth around 170k at time of recording I think this team plays beautiful I got rid of those stupid Ballon d'Or cards this is the final squad if you guys want me to keep grinding with this team for a 30 days challenge and see how we can improve this team within the next three weeks drop a thumbs up if this video gets 100 likes I will do a 30 days challenge with this team and I'm going to promise you that after 30 days this team will be worth around 1 million coins. Drop a thumbs up if you want to see this and of course subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye bye.